Dans cette vidéo, j'ai décidé de vous présenter l'histoire de Oil et de sa maman. Oil a 35 ans, elle vit à Koh Samui et en raison du Covid, elle a perdu son emploi comme des milliers de Thaïlandais ici sur l'île de Koh Samui. Alors je vous propose d'écouter son histoire, elle va vous la raconter avec ses mots. Elle a trouvé le salut dans sa cuisine euh, grâce à la livraison de un délicieux Khao Soi. Le Khao Soi, c'est une spécialité originaire de Chiang Mai, dans le nord de la Thaïlande. Il s'agit d'un curry à base de nouilles. Alors, en place pour une délicieuse recette, dont je mettrai le lien avec la liste de, de tous les ingrédients dont vous avez besoin pour la réaliser, si vous souhaitez l'essayer. Son histoire m'a beaucoup touchée. C'est la raison pour laquelle j'ai décidé de vous en parler aujourd'hui. Et j'espère pouvoir faire d'autres portraits comme ça de Thaïlandais euh, sur l'île de Koh Samui. Nous allons échanger en anglais puisque je ne parle pas Thaï. Donc le reste de cette vidéo sera en anglais. That should be in English now. Avec les sous-titrages en français, bien sûr. C'est parti <rires> Hello everybody, bonjour tout le monde, c'est Emma à Koh Samui. Aujourd'hui, je vous emmène dans la cuisine de chez Oil. Krua Langban, qui signifie la cuisine derrière la maison. Tout simplement parce qu'elle est installée ici, derrière leur salon et leur chambre. Alors, on va se rapprocher pour faire la connaissance de Oil et de sa cousine qui sont en train de cuisiner un délicieux Khao Soi. Sawadika kun hoi. Sawadika. Hello. I'm Oi. Nice to meet everyone. <laughs> nice to meet you too. Yeah, welcome to my school of Bang. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for receiving us. Um, could you tell us uh, when and why you started this activity? I started to make a school of Bang since last year. Uh, when COVID starting and then uh, I I need to leave the job because uh, the hotel is closed. So I I stay with mom and I tell to mom that I need to do something because I don't have job anymore. You need to, not, to earn money, right? Yeah, and um, so my mom has a uh, skill for cooking. I, I also have a little bit for experience for cooking. So we try the first time how to sell cow soy. But you started with cow soy, and you said it, you didn't know any, anything about cow soy before you didn't eat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was funny because I went to Chiang Mai, and then I, I tried cow soy one time in my life, and I feel like, wow, this noodle is good. So, so I just remember how the flavor, how the taste like, and then I talked I talk to my mom, that mom i want to do khao soy and sell the people then mom said i never tried khao soy i never eat that before because she never been to chiang mai so i tell her the how the flavor like and then i just order the curry paste but the first time i tried to make um, my own noodle for khao soy but it's i find all that is a lot of work for me so I say okay, I just order the noodle and then order the curry paste, the best one in Chiang Mai. And then we try, we try to cook together at the first time and then we sell it. At the first time we sell only 15 orders for Thai people. Yeah. So I promote my khao soy in every cook in Koh Samui, but I promote in Thai. So there is one customer, <laughs> she wants to order my khao soy and after that, she revealed that okay, this is the best khao soy that I try in Smui. So on that time, I get more customers from 15 orders. So I can get 30, 40, 50, and maximum is 100 orders so, for, for khao soy. Yeah. So. Okay, that's really interesting. So khao soy comes from Chiang Mai. Does it mean? Uh, Thai people uh, don't eat khao soy in the other part of Thailand? Not bad. Not, not, not too much. Like in South, many people don't know what khao soy is. Some people think khao soy is rice because how in Thai is rice. Okay. Yeah. So uh, some people 
that been to Chiang Mai or they like to try so they will they, they try but some people not want to try for the local people to be honest so that's why um, my customer most of my customer be a foreigner yeah Uh, for the recipe that we make for khao soy, the important one is the khao soy noodle. This one is the it's a dry dry noodle that I order from Chiang Mai, and it's a good one and the best one in Chiang Mai. So we use this one and boil it for eight minutes, and after that we put uh, sesame oil to make the fragrance, and then. And then we leave it. And for the curry, for the sauce, so we need this important thing. If you have good ingredient, your khao sai is taste very good. Okay. So I have um, coconut milk that are fresh and um, from local people. So I not buy the processed one. So that I we need to shoot the good chop for the coconut. Okay. Milk. And another another one is the curry paste for khao soy. So this is most important thing. I also order from Chiang Mai. Okay. Yeah. And what we what we do? We fry the um, we fry the fried curry paste first with the coconut milk, and we put more coconut milk in. And seasoning, seasoning okay. is uh, we put a little bit of. Palm sugar and salt. Palm it. sugar? Yeah. Can you show us what is yeah. palm sugar? Because maybe in my country or in the other part of the world right. they don't. This is palm sugar. Oh, it's palm a kind sugar. of pasta. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It's like this and uh, it's healthy and it's for the how we say it? coconut. Coconut. This one, I think, uh, this one is they make in Kosmoy. In Kosmoy. Yeah. yeah. I buy from local people. Okay. Yeah. So. The main part of the, the ingredients you use uh, are from local people, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, yeah. So I use from the local, yeah. everything local. The, that's all? That's all. This is the sauce. So normally when we cook the khao soy, khao soy chicken, for example, we need to put the uh, chicken inside. But as I told you, I have a lot of oil. So what I have to do, I have to uh, cook sauce separate and then cook the chicken and eat separate. So that's because you propose uh, cow soy with chicken, mm -hmm. uh, cow soy with beef, and, uh, vegan, and, uh, vegan. and yeah. vegan with tofu, yeah. fried tofu. Right. Okay. So that's why we use the chicken and the beef for the chicken. Okay. Because the vegetable. Vegetable. Yeah. Okay. And because some the, some people yeah. don't like uh, the tofu mm -hmm. as well. Yeah. Understand. And for the, this one, for yeah. the curry paste, uh, I talk with the company. They say for the people that uh, they uh, eat keto, keto genic, then you can use this one. Oh, okay, I understand. That's interesting. But then you just use another noodle, maybe. So yeah, for our house, we are home cooking. We not have the restaurant, and then we cook at at the in the kitchen, and then we deliver by ourselves. So I deliver deliver by myself, and also my uncle help me. So everyone in the family help me for delivery. You work in family. That's really interesting. <laughs> yeah. So this is the um, the process that uh, before uh, we deliver. So this is the, um, the noodle and how sorry you need this one, the um, crispy noodle. So we use the, um, the wonton and then we deep fry for crispy. When you mix together, the texture is, and then you put the, the sauce, the texture is so good and very yummy like that. And then, this one for so what is in this inside? This is for the side dish, shallot, and 
Mustard. Pickle. Pickle. Mustard for yeah. nous. Mm -hmm. Lamb inside. You just feed lamb and put the sauce in. And for the people that like more spicy, we have this chili paste for you. And I, I sell for 60 bucks for one cent. Of it's sorry. amazing. How can you earn any money with this price? Uh, to be honest, I start from the COVID. And so I know that the people don't have money much money yeah. and no job. So I cannot charge for like 120 baht or more than 100 baht. Sure. So I try to help the people as well. And now I 60 baht. If I get a lot of orders, so I get a profit. I understand. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But now my cost is up to 50 orders, so I get some profit. Yeah. 160 gram each. When you receive it at home, it's like this in a box, ready to eat. So this one is with tofu. Sawadika. This is Mama. Mama. <laughs> Sawadika. <laughs> nice to meet you. It's busy time because now they have to prepare and to deliver. Let's go for delivery. Bye bye. Thank you very much for receiving us. Thank you very much for Kun Emma for coming to to Kuala Lumpur. Now time to go delivery and see you next time, guys. Bye. Bye bye. <laughs> bye Thank bye. you very much. The menu is shared on Facebook on Saturday and Sundays. Je vous remercie d'avoir suivi cette vidéo et si ce contenu vous plaît, je vous propose de cliquer sur le like, d'activer les notifications, de vous abonner à ma chaîne et surtout de me faire un petit commentaire pour me dire ce que vous en avez pensé. Je vous remercie et en direct de Bansawadi Village, je vous dis bye bye